everyone, it is less than 70 degrees out, so I am wearing my turtleneck and of course I am making chili because it is freezing for Florida. So right now, I have put some onions, garlic, a little bit of canola oil, a little bit of veggie broth, and some chopped tomatoes, I would say about five Roma tomatoes, together in a pan and we are stirring it all together. I've been keeping this probably for about 10 minutes already before I realized, hmm, I should film this so that I can bless you all with my presents. Um, so at this point, the veggies are pretty much sautéed, and I'm going to add some tomato paste. The only problem is, I don't have tomato paste. The only thing pasty in the kitchen is me right now. So instead, we're going to use some tomato sauce. Now, with the paste, you probably want to dilute it with broth or water, but for this, it's diluted enough that we're just going to add it straight to our pan. Here's me pretending to pour it in, even though I already poured it. I decided I wanted more tomatoes, so I added more tomatoes. Low sodium petite dice. Now we're gonna get loco with some cocoa. I'm gonna try to make it like a very savory mole style chili. We'll see if it tastes good. I don't know, but I was looking up the Kevin's famous chili recipe the other day and my staff tried to recreate it with the recipe I sent them, but I've decided I'm gonna put my own twist on it. So, cocoa powder, which was in the recipe. This isn't the twist. This is the part where I actually have the cocoa rather than talking about how I might add some cocoa. So, here we go. Let's, I hope I'm filming it, I don't know. Here. I'm gonna add my spices. I already added cinnamon to it because I really love chili with cinnamon in it. I, make th I used to make this ground turkey chickpea chili and it was a Moroccan style chili. So you add cinnamon to give it to that rem that Moroccan flavor, but I'm doing a vegetarian chili now, and I'm adding cinnamon so it tastes like fall. But mixed with chocolate, it might just taste like dessert. Who knows? Um, I'm also adding cumin. Cool. Chili powder. This smells like straight up chocolate right now. Bonzo beans, great northern beans, and some black beans, and I might also add some lentils. You drain those and add them to your pot because I forgot to drain mine and I really don't want you to make the same mistakes I did. We have our California chilies. West Coast, best coast, yeah? Just kidding. I don't know. I've never been in California. Only Seattle. Only part of the West Coast and it wasn't that great. I was just at the airport the whole time. But you're going to take your chili right here. And you're going to remove all the seeds. Basically, you just rip off a piece and dump the seeds out into the bag. I am eating my hair. And then you're going to dump this into your chili. Make sure you remove it before you eat the chili because no one likes a dried chili in their chili. Am I right? If you get hungry while you wait, you should probably eat your dinner. Um, believe it or not, I'm just cooking the chili for fun, not for dinner. Story of my life. So, while you wait, enjoy a piece of cold leftover tofu. Mmm, spongy. Next, add some bay leaves. Um, you can add them proportionally to how many bays have left you, leave you, in the past year, month, week, whatever. I'm adding two. Bye, bay. Moral of the story, make sure you leave bay before bay leaves. You add a buttload of cayenne pepper because you want to cry when you eat it. Add some extra salt if you weren't already being salty enough when you sprinkled that bay leaf in. Like, bye bay, sprinkle, sprinkle. And then you can play around with the flavors. Like, if you wanted to buy chili beans or if you wanted to buy adobo and chile, uh, you're more than welcome to add that to your dish and it will taste, it will have stronger chili flavor. I don't mind when mine doesn't taste exactly like authentic chili because I just spice mine with cinnamon and stuff. So it gives like a fall harvesty flavor instead, which is fine with me. Um, you can add sweet potatoes, butternut squash, spinach, corn, whatever you want to this. It's a very versatile dish. Enjoy. Bye bye. All you viewers sitting here wanting more and wondering, where's the next video? This is for you. Mmm. Eat your vegetables.